to my channel. My name is Tiara and I do a lot of nine to five day in the life content. I do work from home and I'm a lending officer. I work from home four days a week and I go into the office one day. So today is Monday. I feel like I needed some type of Monday motivation and it's 10 50 so it's almost 11 o'clock i have a late start with vlogging today we've had a couple of technical difficulties um, with our system today so it's already been a long morning i just made a cup of coffee um and i'm actually on my first break of the day and i'm about to make some breakfast because i have not eaten breakfast yet so we're kind of low on groceries we have to go grocery shopping today but i'm just gonna make a toast um and I have whipped cream cheese I'm going to put on it, which is gonna be so delicious, you guys. Um, I'm gonna place you guys on my window seal. And I left my tripod for my camera in my boyfriend's car and he's out at work. So I'm using certain things to prop my camera up. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I thought I would vlog today. It's been a minute since I did a work from home um, day so i'm actually gonna vlog the whole day so my full work day as well as my afternoons um i do plan on work doing a quick workout today i'm trying to get back into working out because i kind of took a break from it um but now i'm trying to get back into working out so i'm gonna do a workout today i'm also gonna do one meaningful task today which i'll go over later later in this video um and then we do have to grocery shop and then i'm gonna make dinner so um i hope you guys enjoy my um video today and let's get to working and hopefully today's gonna be a good day <laughs> it started off kind of crazy um also if you're interested this is my work from home outfit i'm just wearing some comfortable black shorts and then this shirt which is super cute i got it from um her web shop web shop <laughs> Her website is called Uniquely Leslie, and I will put a link down below to her website. She does a lot of shirts like this, as well as custom um, design shirts. So she is my boyfriend's sister-in-law, and um, this is so comfortable. It's like a long sleeve sweater, and this is a size small. I like my sweaters to be a little um, bigger on me just because I love like the coziness of it. So this sweater is super cozy. It's a picture of a butterfly and I just love the print on it. So I'll put a link down below to her website so you guys can go check it out. Lots of stuff. If you're a mom, she has cute mom things. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's get back to working. <laughs> This is my breakfast. I have a toast with whipped cream cheese and balsamic glaze on top. Typically, I will put a tomato on it, but we're out of tomatoes. Um, and then I just have some yogurt, and this is my coffee, and then I'm also going to have some fruit on the side. This is my breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and eat that, and then I'm gonna actually going to eat that. Let me see. I have about five minutes left on my break, so I'm going to hurry up and eat this, and then we'll get back to working. and he said this is a scam that it's not zero percent same as cash for 12 months because he's now being charged interest so i tried to explain to him well you are defaulted on your loan since the late the loan is late um that zero percent same as cash has been defaulted on and he's like it's not defaulted on it's not late and i he knows it's late and i told him it's 27 days past due um it's late and he said well i had issues trying to make the payment or something like that 
Um, I haven't been able to make the payment yet. And he said the first payment we received was like double the amount. So that should have, um, in his mind, should have been for the next couple payments um, or could have been for the next couple payments. But he then started using provocative language and saying that this is a scam and he's just going to end up just paying the loan off in full. Um, and I explained to him, I tried to say, can you not use provocative language? Because he was just going at it and he was saying that y'all are all bees and I'm just like, Ugh. but basically he's upset because he thinks the 0% same as cash is a scam because it's, he has interest now on it and he's paying because he's late. Okay. So it goes back to the interest if they're 15 days past due. Yeah, I can see it now. I'm so sorry I have not been filming a lot. Like I said, it's been a crazy morning. I've already been um, cussed out. Oh my God, this thing is stuck. <laughs> okay, now I gotta fix my hair because it got caught. Um, but yes, I'm super sorry. I'm so sorry I have not filmed a lot so far. It's already 12.30. It's just honestly a lot. <laughs> I've already been cussed at twice today over the phone both situations had nothing to do with me i'm just hearing it uh, hearing about it so i had to get them transferred over to um managers so far for today i have already taken in one application we did have a mess up um in our system like i kind of explained earlier our system went down and i still have i'm still drinking my coffee i don't know if it's just me but i am a very slow coffee drinker I drink my coffee very slow and the problem is it gets cold quicker so sometimes I'll just then add an ice and make it an iced coffee I swear I will sip my coffee just for like a couple hours that's why sometimes I like to here let me fix this lighting um, that's why sometimes I like to drink like a shot of espressos and I'll add creamer in it just because it takes me forever to drink my coffee but anywho yeah, so it's 12 30. Um, I'm actually going to be headed to lunch in a couple minutes, but I promise you guys after lunch I will film me more working for you. Um, but it's just been that kind of day. So I have nothing planned. So oh, that's bright. So for lunch, I have no idea what I'm eating for lunch. We have nothing to eat. So I think I may have to run out and grab something to eat. We only get 30 minutes for lunch, so I just have to make sure I'm back in time. I thought about getting Chick-fil-A, but then I thought about getting like a Publix sub. But now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want some soup and I think I want Panera bread. But the problem with Panera bread is our Panera bread here, they don't have a drive-through, so I have to go inside and it's just, it's just annoying. But anywho, yes, so I'm gonna finish up working and then we're gonna head to break and then I will film more of the actual work day, me on the phone, and me just kind of talking through what I'm doing for you guys. So right now, um, I am doing a loan for a guy who just called in. Um, he wanted to apply so he has a credit card with us and he wanted to apply for an increase on his credit card so basically we have to do an application we have to pull credit and then we send it up to our underwriting team for a loan decision and um this guy i don't know if he will be approved just because based on his account now i'm looking at his credit card um it is maxed out right now and he's on a very limited income and he already has an auto loan with us and he needs the money to pay for his lot rent. So, you know, we can't approve everybody. You know, we can only approve so many people and it's honestly all just based on his debt to income ratio. That's usually what we look at because right now he actually 
let's see. He's only been a member here for seven months. So there you go. He's not a long time member. He's already maxed out on his credit card. Uh, let's see how long he has had his credit card for. His credit card he just got in June and he's already maxed out on it. His auto loan he just got in July. So he is pretty much maxed out already. So I'm just writing down my notes. I'm so sorry about this lighting, what's happening here. Um, so I'm just writing down those couple notes here so I can notate that in the application when I send it up to underwriting. So basically what I do is I say he's a seven month member. Um, just got the credit card maxed out already. Um, limited income. And, and basically explaining what he needs the money for. And I always write everything down on paper and then I will then trans transition it to the application because it just helps m with my mind. I don't have to remember everything. I can just note, you know, like look it down at my paper and then transfer it to the application. So um, there's really not much else that I would put in here. Um, I don't really know his payment history on his credit card. I didn't really look that up, but that doesn't really matter because he just got the credit card a couple months ago and he's already maxed out on it. And uh, depending on his debt to income ratio, which is at 65%, so he's not going, we're not going to approve him for this. Unfortunately, um, there's nothing really that can be done for him. Uh, let me take a look here and see. Yeah. I don't think he will be approved. His debt to income ratio is at 65%. So if you guys are in lending um, or if you've been in the banking world, you know that debt to income ratio means, um, or DTI means debt to income ratio. So it's a, a percentage of his debts versus how much his income is. So his debt to income ratio is 65%. So 65% of his income is going out to bills. So that's what that means. And that is a lot. We like to see less than 40% debt to income ratio. So we want to make sure that half of your money that you have coming in for income is not being spent on bills. Now, there are exceptions to the rule for longtime members um, and things like that. So, you know, it just depends. And um, but with him, the fact that he's only been a member here for seven months, he just got the credit card like three months ago and he's already maxed out on it most likely he won't be approved because he's not handling his um, finances well. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get this sent up to our underwriting team really quick and I'll have a decision back probably before I go to lunch and then I will go ahead and give the member a call. So let's take a look here. Oh, he has two auto loans. Oh no, this one is... What's this one? Did he refinance with us? <laughs> It's not going to show in the credit bureau today because it takes okay so let me get your account pulled up here what's your account number or social please now you're saying that you want it you want it to show that you paid off your auto loan today Okay, so you're trading it in. Okay, are you trading the vehicle in? All right, so it is lunchtime. Actually, my lunchtime is over. I was speaking to my sister on lunch, so um, I couldn't really film, but my lunch is over, but I'm, I can still eat because I work from home. So this is what I'm actually having for lunch. I forgot we had these in here. So I'm just warming up two of those in the microwave. 
and these things are actually really good. I think we get these from um, BJ's, which is a wholesale store here. Those are really good. There's cheese and chicken and they're like little melts. And then also I'm going to have a prebiotic soda. These things are really good. It's the brand Poppy and this is the Raspberry Rose. I've tried the watermelon and the watermelon is really good too. So this is my, uh, that's a different brand there. And yeah, so it's about two o'clock. I have about three hours left of the work day. So we are moving right along here. I'm gonna get some ranch. What I like to do is take one. This is how they look. There's a piece of chicken and cheese in there. So I'll just kind of open it a little bit and I'll put some ranch in the inside. I know my head is cut off, but that's how it is. So I'll just throw some ranch in there, just a little bit. And that kind of gives it, makes it a little bit more moist. Um, so I just kind of open it up and I'll just drop in some ranch. And there we go. So that is my lunch for the day. This way. Those things are really good as like a quick snack as well. What day do they take it out? Because it's 23 days past due. haven't received the payment for October yet so basically what I would advise is to try to go ahead and make that payment um, before applying for a new loan because we have to do an application we have to pull credit and then we send it up to underwriting team for a loan decision so it kind of looks better if the loan is up to date um, you know even if you make the loan payment there's no guarantee that we can't give you approval we'll just always do an application and send it to underwriting team but I would definitely advise to try to get that payment Well, your past due forty five dollars, and I think that's for October's payment. So if you make October's payment, which is what you're currently due, that's forty five dollars and seventy cents your past due on, plus the November payment that's coming due, which is ninety seven dollars and forty eight cents. So it'll be one forty three. Yes, that'll get you out of the negative. That'll make you current with October and November. Okay? Did you have any other questions or anything? Okay, well, you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks. Bye-bye. from your retirement funds or how long and how long have you been retired for now I'm going to go ahead and get credit pulled okay don't think there's any other additional questions I have um, let me take a look here. Oh, just one more thing. Now we do have to put at least two references on the application. We don't call these people. It does not determine the outcome of the loan decision. Um, we just have to have two on file. So this is anyone um, in the event, if we're not able to reach you, we have someone that we can reach out to. And they can be family, friend, anyone. <laughs> two calls.
calls that I just took, one was an application member called in to apply for an auto loan, so I did her application over the phone. Um, I will probably have a decision on this within the next hour, but I won't follow up with her until tomorrow because it's later on in the day. And the last call I just received was a member. He called in and wanted to get a payoff on his auto loan. So I provided him with the payoff and there's just a script that we have to read to them. Um, so yeah, it is after three o'clock. We have about two hours left. I do have one other break. And on my next break, I'm just going to chill, maybe go outside for a walk. Um, it's been a crazy day. That's why I haven't filmed a lot because it's, it's been a long day with members. I'm officially off work finally oh my gosh it was such a crazy birthday today like I don't know I know it's like a Monday and everything but so many things went wrong today our system went down we had people that called us in and just went like a lot of angry members today for some reason and a lot of angry dealerships I don't know it was just a crazy day lots of different things that came up other than applying for loans um, but anyways I'm off work um he is working out so that's probably gonna be like an hour and in the meantime i am writing down our grocery list and then i'm also going to clean out this closet so let me show you guys currently writing out a grocery list i also did write out a leg workout that i'm planning on doing later if i have time if not then i may just go for like a walk Also, I do want to straighten up my office because it is a mess um, in here. But uh, my last video, I was supposed to clean up this office or this closet in the office, but I didn't get a chance to um, just because I redid our room. Um, but I'm going to clean this out really quick. That way that is done and I can kind of check mark that off my list. And I did write down a little to-do list. So grocery shop, workout, clean office closet, film a video, which I'm doing now, edit a video and wash the towels. So actually, since I'm about to clean out the closet, um, I'm going to go ahead and throw the little top load of towels into the washing machine. So that can be washing while I'm cleaning um, the closet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. my closet here um this is in the office you can see there's like a whole bunch of just stuff down here mainly it's shoes and just like some decor pieces um, i'm gonna go ahead and clean that out i actually set a timer on my iWatch. i set a timer for 15 minutes that's how long i'm giving myself to clean this stuff out whatever this stuff is so let's get on it my my voice I've been coughing for the past like 10 to 15 minutes I have like a, something in my throat and it's annoying um, but it's like nine o'clock and I uh, honestly I think I last picked up 
before oh yes that's where I last picked up it's almost like nine o'clock and I we do not go grocery shopping like at all <laughs> because um, I don't feel good I've been cramping and um, so I've been in bed since the last time I talked to you like 10 minutes after that clip of me saying that we're going grocery shopping I've been in bed since and it's nine o'clock and he got his chipotle for dinner since I was supposed to cook. I literally almost have eaten all of it. It's so good. Um, so that's what we already ate for dinner. And we're just gonna have to go grocery shopping tomorrow because we didn't go today. I'm super tired and my stomach cramps, but um, <clears throat> I feel like I sound like a man. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed working with me today and kind of um, going throughout the afternoon and I will see you guys in my next video. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I am trying to reach 200 now. I think I'm, I've been getting subscribers like every week and obviously like the more you post, the more you gain, but anywho, I'm trying to hit 200. Um, organically and I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe if you guys like this type of content like where I do a full day in my life not just like working um, then let me know and I will do a little bit more of these um, so yeah anyways hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys in my next video bye